is Chuck, and I am the LAN team manager for Flight SimCon 2013. I'm also a project consultant uh, with Flight SimCon. Well, primarily, I'm a virtual pilot with Boston Virtual ATC. My primary aircraft is the Embraer 175. The yeah, LAN team is a group of pilots and controllers, mostly from Boston Virtual ATC's community, that agree to transport their computer equipment and their flight gear to an off-site location and assemble their computers to work on a local area network while also wired to the Boston Virtual ATC server. The purpose of this is to serve as a public demonstration team because really the public is not uh, aware of what, the, what people can do with Flight Sim. Flight Simulator is a phenomenal teaching tool and the skills that the people that are involved with Flight Sim gain are really quite incredible. It's interesting to me that a 14 year old uh, or someone of that age has the skills and ability to follow all FAA regulations, comply with air traffic controls, and fly a 757 across the Atlantic to London and land it safely. I've had real world pilots that are absolutely blown away with what is a, a achievable in a flight simulator environment. Desktop simulation, really rivals the sort of simulation that you would get in a full-scale uh, simulator used to train commercial air pilots. The only thing it's lacking is the sensation of movement. With the add-on aircraft that we were able to uh, purchase from vendors such as PMDG or Fieldair, uh, the realism is significantly enhanced. For instance, the 737NGX from PMDG is a fully accurate, fully functional replica of a 737 flight deck. So unlike other multiplayer games such as World of Warcraft or Call of Duty, Fight, Flight Simulator is one of the few simulation tools that we can access that actually teaches positive benefits such as critical thinking, uh, procedural and regulations, uh, a disciplined mind, the ability to work as a team, and even to go so far, there are many communities that are formed what we call virtual airlines. They're managing fuel load, passenger load, routes, dispatch, aircraft, and then actually getting into a simulated aircraft and flying that route from point A to point B. In Flight Simulator, one minute equals one minute. It is real time. If it takes four hours to fly to Denver in real life, it takes four hours to fly to Denver in flight sim. And so again, one of the things that we are managing is managing fatigue and concentration and focus to be able to uh, accomplish that sort of a thing. And the LAN team will be putting on a public demonstration in the conference main hall of about 15 to 20 workstations, 15 to 20 or so pilots and controllers all logged on to the Boston virtual server where the public can walk around the table and around the demonstration and look over the shoulders of the pilots and controllers and see what they're doing, uh, see the equipment that they're operating and understand the environment that they're working within. We will also have a guide who is untethered to any one particular station who will interface with the public and take them to a separate workstation where they can look at a top-down map of what is going on in the environment in front of them. Also hear the air traffic control directions that are being given through the LAN team and through the server and really be able to ask questions and uh, interface with the LAN team through that guide. It should be a really wonderful demonstration. Uh, uh, frankly, I think it's going to really open up people's eyes as to what is achievable and possible with desktop simulation. Uh, my name is Tony Cresswell. I'm with Fly G Force. I'm um, ATP pilot and Part 135 charter captain in uh, Cirrus SR22. Awesome, and uh, this is your first time flying Flight Simulator, right? That's exactly right. What was your experience? What do you think? It was awesome. Really? Yeah, uh, first officer did uh, a lot of the work for me, helped me out quite a bit. And his name is? Fred, Fred Bajan. <laughs> how, uh, how close would you say it is to real world? I'd say it's uh, very, very close to real world. Uh, once you master the uh, simulator controls, um, their traffic controllers are professional. They're uh, spot on in the way they control the traffic and get it in. Terminology is awesome, um, just like flying in the system. That's great. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Awesome.